Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you an awesome PVC diorama. This time it is Storm Shadow from G.I. Joe. Wow. So um I think we have at least well yeah, we have um some Destro yes, um PVC we have dioramas. Destro and we have um Snake Eyes, which I believe this kind of goes with. Oh I don't cool. know that it really says so, but um, You can kind of put them side by side and they look like the same scene. They're obviously like enemies and they're both like in the snow so i'm assuming that oh yeah they kind of go together that would be cool all right so ho hopefully we can show that off yeah. at the end um we want to say a great big thank you to diamond select for sending him to us for free to share with you today so i think did you just show the back yeah um, or let's yeah, look at so. the back there we go um it gives you a little bit about storm shadow on the back um and this looks pretty cool Looks like he, like you said, he's in a snow scene. I'm trying to see what that dark thing is, if it's like a... I think this is a log. Okay. Like a I was thinking maybe it is. And he is like definitely in an action pose, which is neat. As well as like the throwing stars are in motion and looks like they have... Yeah. That looks really neat. So let's go ahead and get Storm Shadow out of this box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, so there's Storm Shadow out of the box. He looks really cool. Yeah. He has some really cool snow effects down here. And it's kind of got like a pearl, uh, like, I don't know, like the icy look to some of the snow. Yeah. Um, just in certain sections, which makes it look really real. And then I guess, I'm guess i guessing these are like ice bursts or like, um, I don't know, but it looks really cool. Almost like, you know, like icicles, but um, where some of the ice has dried or maybe this is where he jumped off yeah from i'm not this sure spot. i don't know um and i love this part too with the throwing stars right there on this clear thing that makes it look like they are in motion so he looks really cool i'm gonna turn him around really slowly a minute and then i'll pick him up get him closer to the camera to show you some of the really cool details look on the back here where the snow is just on the top ledges of stuff really neat as well as this little broken log um, the back of his shoe so let's kind of start here by taking a closer look so here's the back of his shoe with the tread which is really cool you have these icicles right here very sharp <laughs> um, and then the log and the icicles on the back of here and it's really cool that his throwing stars almost look like they're coming off of ice. Yeah. Um, but, and he has three of them coming out of his hand at once. Wow, that's talent. Yes. <laughs> um, and then you have the log. You also have um, his leg is kind of just resting there. But it's almost like, um, I guess like he's jumping in front of it. Um, he has his toe pointed, um, which is really neat. He's in, definitely in a very uh, flexible physical pose there with the um, buckle coming around here. This is his, the buckle to the quiver on the back, on his back, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's got his cobra symbol there. He's got the mask on, his hood, his very serious facial sculpt. And all of the there's like a little bit of black or gray wash in here to add detailing and depth and dimension to the to the white suit which is really cool as well as the um, top part of it hanging over here he's got a pocket of something there a belt that goes all the way around and a sash that hangs back here um, it's cool how you get even like the um you know like like you can kind oh, of yeah, see on the back. some of the I mean just some of the like little areas where um you know like the uniform is kind of twisted and oh yeah you know and you get those little um, yeah like right like there spots where it's you know it's obviously like you know it could they could just make it smooth but to right. add that little texturing to make it more realistic is awesome and even his hood and he is designed by joe allard and jorge santo souza awesome so very cool this yeah this is, is a, a really cool um, I love the pose. Um, like you said, it's like a very dynamic um, action pose, even though it's, you know, very static. Um, and then all the detail. 
that they add into it is just amazing. And here's his sword and the detailing on that too, as well as the handle. If you look at his hand, you can see like the veins and the muscles all in his hand, which is really cool. I mean, it just makes it look so realistic. Even to his arms, like the muscles and um, different grooves in his arms and his elbow. Um, so, I mean, he just looks like he actually, you know, if people were this size, yeah. <laughs> he's not missing any details at all that I can see. So the back, the underneath is a little bit hollowed out. So, um, so that it's not like super duper, um, heavy, but looks really cool. This is going to be a great one to add to our PVC diorama collection. Now we bring in snake eyes gotta bring in the good guy so yes um let's see let's take him off of this for a second um and put them side by side so i'm guessing it would be more like yeah, that probably, oh yeah if we turn it around there you go that looks awesome so you can see um from the previous video there's a lot of pearlized um snow right here on snake eyes one in the same form of rock um and then there's the the wolf yeah jumping out very cool so when you put these on the um on display it's almost like it's creating a little scene oh yeah and that is really that is really, really cool. cool they look great together and they're going to look great on our display shelf yes, together they are. And he is another great PVC diorama. We want to say another great big thank you to Diamond Select for sending him to us for free to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.